So um, in this conversation about Venus and Mars, what I find coming up, um, uh, the images for Venus for me were Cinderella and the Little Mermaid. <laughs> Only like more grown-up versions. Um, anyways, so uh, what I'm noticing is that oh, what was Mars. Um, I don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't. Okay. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> it was like a really hot, buff Native American man who kind of looked like Fabio. Looked <laughs> <laughs> like who? Okay, I've totally forgotten what I'm going to say. Um, question. I have a question. So The Little Mermaid and Cinderella were my favorite movies, and they have sort of a mythological thing in common, which is that these two girls being chosen by a powerful man raised them up from being a fish to being a person, being a peasant, to being a princess. And that was powerfully with me for almost all of my life that somehow being chosen or selected by a man was going to be the thing that bestowed upon me my value. And so this class <clears throat> and this whole thing, I mean, it's not exactly new to me, but um, you, you know, you'd think that hearing that I have a fully empowered Venus inside and that it's been there all along, you'd think I'd be overjoyed, but I actually feel really sad and pissed <laughs> because you know, the only reason I did any of that, giving away my Venus, was because I thought that it was going to give me the thing the myth promised me. Mm -hmm. And so here I am sitting realizing Prince Charming is not fucking coming. And I just kind of feel sad. Because that, that part of me, that so identified with Cinderella, doesn't know how it can happen any other way. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just like drawing a big blank about how love or closeness or connection or intimacy happens if it's not like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. That's good. Because, all right, so if going back again, I didn't realize how much we were going to go to the Sabian symbol about the inner goddess who's taking care of the girl inside. So it's the girl who's pissed, right? Because the inner goddess knows that God is infinitely varied in the ways that anything that needs to happen, any karma that needs to happen on this earthly plane between two whole human beings who are not just broken people trying to plug into each other, but two whole humans who need to come together because karmically they're meant to come together. God's very good at creating that whenever it's meant to happen. But the little kid, to me, that's how I would make the separation, the little kid is understandably pissed because I think little girls get told a real bill of goods that somebody's going to come and save them. And in fact, somebody is telling me that there are lots of people rewriting these fairy tales now, which is so powerful for these girls growing up. Like there are supposedly all these fairy tales out there now that are like, actually, she saves herself. And it kind of ends like, and or, or all the animals come and save her in the forest. Or, you know, like there's a million ways to become whole. Because then, if somebody isn't saving that person, then he or she can actually come up and be with you. Not as a savior, but as a, a whole being. Do you see? I mean, it's such a bill of goods. Because one person being the savior is so exhausting whether no matter what gender you are, or you're doing it for your kids, or you're doing it for a parent. And so you actually, the, the adult doesn't really even want somebody to save it. So you know what I'm saying? It's like the kid, I think, gets understandably furious. But I don't know if you, how you feel about that, if you could go in and take care of the girl who's mad and give her love. Because I do think we live in a culture that gave us all ideas that disempowered us, no matter what gender. And if you go take care of that kid, then... See, I wouldn't dismiss that Mars of yours. 
seriously. I wouldn't. I think that Mars, that's you. That's not some, like, you know what I mean? I mean, that's saying that's an aspect of your psyche that is your vibrant, whole Mars. That's the same Mars that let me get the car into New York. So if you own that, then he'll show you what she, you know what I mean? Like that coming together will show you. So we might actually be like letting the Mars inside take care of her, but she doesn't need saving. 